Welcome to the world's largest rail industry trade fair, the InnoTrends 2016 in Berlin. And we are live again at the Siemens booth in Hall 4.2 on the first floor. And this is just an amazing fair. We have an overall area at the InnoTrends of 200,000 square meters. Outside, there are 149 vehicles on display. Today, Berlin is the place where it comes to trains, to locomotive and high-tech and mobility solutions. Joining us live today is Mr. Boris Dickieser, who will give us many answers concerning automated driving by rail. Welcome to the show, Mr. Dickieser. Hello, Hello, Boris. Martin, welcome. Boris, the rail industry is probably undergoing the biggest changes in its history. Which worldwide megatrends influence mobility, especially rail mobility today? Well, first, these are globalization, demographic change and urbanization. In a consequence, more and more people and goods have to be moved within and between the cities by rail and road. And another global phenomenon is climate change. So this transport has to be done as energy efficient as possible. And technically, digitalization will influence mobility certainly in a fundamental way. So in view of these trends, I am quite sure that rail has a great chance to be the most efficient means of transport also in the future. One key lever will be automation, or let's say like that, to receive or to achieve higher degrees of automation. Okay, and what are the solution uh, the solutions for increasing challenges and uh, what will be the benefits and how can Siemens prove to be the right partner for this challenging task? Well a key solution will be automated driving that's also what you can see here. Automated driving ranges from semi-automated driving where the movement of the train and the accurate stopping of the train is automated and onto driverless and unattended driving where the system takes over the full responsibility. And the benefits for the operators are clear. They can increase the capacity of their lines. They save energy. They have a more overall over operational flexibility. And at least the trains are more punctual. So with a better overall quality of service. And you asked why Siemens is the right partner for that. Well, Siemens is global market leader in highly and fully automated operation uh, on the metro lines. So you can imagine our engineers have experience for many years on the solutions for automated driving. For example, Siemens installed already in 1992 the driverless metro system for the Metro Line D in Lyon in France, which has been the first heavy metro in Europe driving driverless. So and today an uh, impressive number of metro lines is running with highly or fully automated operation by Siemens over, all over the world. Many experiences have been gathered in mass transit. What are the ways this knowledge can be incorporated into mainline yeah. transportation? Well, of course, mainline has some additional challenges, especially regarding fully driverless automation. For example, the track layout in mainline is much more complex compared to mass transit. And very often the infrastructure is open and it's not protected against intrusion. And also interoperability is a very important aspect in mainline. For example, different operators with different systems are running over the same line. So this is quite challenging. On the other side, metro functions can be successfully adapted towards mainline. For example, in the so-called GOA2, which is Grade of Automation 2 or Semi-Automated Train Operation, our mainline solution for GOA2 is based on the automatic driving system coming from the metros. Of course, the system has been adapted, this system is called ATO, this has been adapted in several points, but at least it's based on the metro system. And that's actually also what you can see at our, our, also here at our Innotrans booth. There we, we can see automatic train operation, ATO, together with the mainline train control system, ETCS. And we present it as a kind of a, what we call ATO competition. So you can ride the, drive the train manually at the driver's desk and can, you can compare your ride 
against an automatic driven crane. That's what you can see here is the energy, con energy consumption of the automatic driven crane, which is the green line, and the energy consumption of the manual crane, which is the red line. So you can see it's quite an exciting challenge. Very interesting. Semi-automated trains are just an immediate step towards fully automated train yeah. operations. The quintessences is uh, compacting the TAM ATO or ETCS. What are ATO and ETCS? How are they working together? Well, in ATO or ETCS, ATO is the automatic driving system, which takes over the precise control of the movement of the train between two, two stations and the accurate stopping of the train at the platforms. And therefore, ATO gets trip and timetable information from the track side, land side traffic management system. And the onboard system, the onboard computer ATO, calculates optimized speed profiles out of that. And these speed profiles are translated into precise control commands to the brain's propulsion and braking system. So then the train is driving automatically. That's ITO. And in that context, ETCS is the underlying safety system. So ETCS continuously observes the maximum permitted speed of the brain. And ETCS does it, does it safely and interacts, if necessary, by braking. So briefly, while ETCS ensures the safe movement of the train, ATO further optimizes the train run. Understood. Has a system that showcases the new approach in everyday operation already been installed somewhere in the world or implemented? Yes. In UK, Siemens is realizing Europe's first implementation of ATO over ETCS on a commuter rail line. Studies of our customer there have shown that ATO ensures the required stability in operation onto that line, which is a high density line with a service of 24 trains per hour and even up to 30 trains per hour in a recovery mode. So this is a very good example for ATO over ETCS on a commuter rail line. And ATO brings these advantages uh, to, together with ETCS onto that line. However, I should point out that ATO over ETCS can provide it, it, its advantages to all kinds of rail, rail segments, mm -hmm. rail transport segments. So commuter rail line, as I said, but also freight lines, regional lines and high speed lines. So we think that we are just at the beginning of a development to bring these planet bits towards the mainline world. Boris, thank you very much for sharing this Thank outlook you, of automated driving with us. Folks, that's our final periscope for, from Berlin, from the Innotrans 2016. And please find details on Twitter and YouTube or Siemens.com slash And keep in mind to follow us. Bye bye from Berlin and thanks for watching.